there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we're here to play Save the Ninja Clan. It's a cold open, but also somewhat related to a WTAF, because this is another game by Sometimes You, the last WTAF holder here on the channel. And mm, I judged them on their previous two games, which were kind of shit, which were pretty shit. But this one's actually good. Have you ever watched? Do you ever watch the? Anybody watch the Nostalgia Critic? The we used to do a video where it was like Sonic and the old Sonic cartoon show versus the new Sonic cartoon show, and it was like effort, honest to god effort. Yes, this is actually honest to god effort. It's a decent platforming game, but we have a lot of things to show you about the platforming game that don't owe itself to the creator's own ingenuity, his methodology of making it work and getting it to play and learning the mechanics of how this would actually be put together is very good. It obviously shows a growth in a player or a growth in a designer, but still, let's see what we got. Which by the way, is loaded a lot faster this time than it did the first time. The first time I played this, it took forever, ever to load. Let's just throw in the white intro here and take a look at it. Help player, you must save the ninja clan! And evil ninja stole your friends! <laughs> you must get them back. Collect these scrolls. <gasps> it disappeared! <gasps> save your friends! We don't have an icon for this. Just remember, ninjas can't swim, ninjas can't climb wood, ninjas die if injured, ninjas can explode on death, ninjas are weak to bullets, rockets, grenades, spikes, lava, and more. Good luck. So, <laughs> not exactly the most intense intro, but yeah. Um, as you can see, I have... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I have played this game for a bit. And you can tell that I've actually completed a number of levels. Even in the level select, you can actually see that there is a number of things blocking your way. So yeah, the way the game plays is that you have ninja things to throw, and you can do this jump up thing, and then you go in there. See? Huh? Look at that. Isn't that nice? You actually like makes you get up on wood things because wood things can't be climbed on. Meanwhile, dirt can be climbed on. That's what the big trick is. And um, playing through this, uh, I'm. I'm just going to go into this level, actually, and just go from level 1 onwards again, because there was a few moments in this that actually, like, not irked me, but actually made me realize exactly where the design document for this was taken from. So there's enemies to run into, you ninja star them, they shoot you, you can avoid the bullets, and jump up there, get onto the thing, jump, jump, and we're up. Uh-oh, spaghetti Eos died. Now, I did that intentionally. <laughs> like, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing that badly that I was actually going to die completely, because I wanted to show... Something whenever we get a little bit further up into this game. Um, God, the size of that bloody disc of death. I want to risk jumping over because I'm going to get blasted by that other thing afterwards. Oh! Because it was lying on the ground, I couldn't destroy it. Uh, like, that was an unintentional death. So yeah, the game has its own difficulty levels, mostly based around uh, some objects being a little bit more awkward about their placement of where they are than you'd wish them to be. Yeah, there we go. So you can jump up here, get over the gap, boop, there you go, grab the new ninja knife modifications, and bam, that's the end of the level. Also, you notice the end of the level was actually flickering out there. It does the Super Meat Boy thing. It shows you making it through the level, which each of your lives is the version that you actually died with. Now, obviously, once this was done in Super Meat Boy, we're going to see games imitating it, which is uh, frustrating in a lot of ways to actually see somebody just lifting somebody else's design. Yeah, I saw you coming. Jumpy jump. So this bit here, watch this. See there was a hole in the wall and he starts typing up in the corner up here. Now this is him making reference to a game called Icy. Which is frustrating. Ugh. Moving along. Spin to win. What happened? Did I finish the level? You have found a bug. 
well done to you. So stuff like this is actually intentionally designed around the idea of like uh, other games. This game feels like it's purposefully aping and cloning its methodology, its design from other games. If you haven't played Icy before, I highly recommend you hit the button up in the top corner of this video where you can check out my playthrough of Icy and see where a lot of that kind of like programmer in game kind of stuff was actually happening in a platform kind of shooter and jumper. Kind of like the same thing was done with uh, something like uh, Stanley's Parable as well, where the game is self-aware of your existence as the player. Oh God. So I don't feel like this game is actually bad by any stretch of imagination. It competently takes cover or covers um, platforming that is reasonably simplistic, but also reasonably well um, well designed. Like, I mean, the, the character feels witty in the way that you need him to be. He kind of does all the things you want him to do. He snaps to good movement. He moves him in air. Like, so there's actually like some decent methodology of, uh, of platformer design in here. But it doesn't feel like this was the original intention or an original design of any sort. It feels like a game made by taking the concepts of somebody else's design and placing it into their own. Which, imitation is a great form of flattery. But at some point, you kind of have to make something your own rather than actually lifting from somebody else's concept. So I haven't played far enough in this game to know if it actually continues on this same style throughout because it literally gets to like basically uh, Super Meat Boy levels of difficulty with some of its platforming sections. As, as in, essentially, you know you, the everything is a walking death trap in some way, shape or form. So you're not going to actually breeze through it absolutely simply and sometimes it's going to be just because of bad uh hit detection rather than actually being because of gameplay oh yeah yeah there we go through another level so i'm oh, oh no i was gonna let this play on so this has been save the ninja clan from something sometimes you I don't think it's a bad game. I think there's going to be, if this game comes out for a very cheap price and uh, catches your attention, then it's worth giving it a playthrough. I'm sure there's some deeper reward involved in playing through it. If you haven't played, if you've already played Super Meat Boy and you're not planning to play, if you want to play something very, 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 very similar to it, then you can come and play this. That's, that's what it's here for. There's probably a lot more detail to be involved in later parts of the game unless his repetition just gets to the point of frustration. Um, a couple of levels have already baffled me with their... Um, what am I thinking of? Uh, they, they baffled me with their level of difficulty spike, where wall climbing is in the previous episode, or run, wall running or whatever else is shown in, and then you have to use precise wall jumping to make it from point A to point B, while sliding over a destructive block, which then is has to be purposely destroyed to unlock a door, which will only open for two seconds until you go into the next one. Like, those kind of like chains of things where it's like all you can do is die and die and die until you get the timing exactly right for it, rather than actually basically being able to reflex skull it in a lot of ways. But uh, yeah, Save the Ninja plan isn't bad. This isn't a bad game at all. I, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not bad mouthing it for the point of bad mouthing it. I just think that there's a, a real homage going on with a lot of its content design and if we can, if we see the developer behind this get a little bit of success with this, I hope he doesn't just make this again, but moves on to make another thing and another thing because the first games that went up on the PlayStation Network were awful. They literally were just object swapping and color line drawing games that you can go and check out in the What the Actual Fuck episode I talked about previously. But yeah, fair play to them for actually moving up in the world. This is a step up and I hope to see this trajectory continue. You can only encourage small developers in this way by actually supporting the games that you enjoy. So I've had fun with this, but where do we go next? Where, 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 what's, what's, your, what's your next idea sometimes you? I'm intrigued, let me know, pass it on, let me see it. Let me see whenever it comes. So yeah, check out Save the Ninja Clan at your own leisure. 
and please do uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed me talking about this game and talking about sometimes you and talking about games development in general and how games are put together and look like the way they've made from somebody else's game or another concept. If you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. And if you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand it's okay, not everybody does, then make sure to memorize the name past each of skin because all you have to do is type in that name and you will find me. I'm not too hard to find. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape or form. You will always find me at your leisure. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, There'll be a button up here to hit the subscribe. Up here will actually be the uh, recent playlist. Over there will be the most recent video that I've actually uploaded. And here will be a video just for you based on your user statistics and the things you do on YouTube. You can check that out and it will probably entertain you as best as it can. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.